Okay, what's your name, honey? I'm Nicole. Nicole, where are you calling us from? <coughs> Palm Bay, Florida. Palm Bay, Bay, Florida. How old are you? 37. 37. And what you do for a living? I own a home care agency. Home care agency? Yeah. I own a home care agency. Okay. Do you have any kids? I have three. How old are your kids? 17, 14, and 10. Are they all by the same man? Um, my ex-husband, two by ex-husband, and one by my high school boyfriend. Okay, when did you get divorced? Five years ago. Say again? Five years ago. Five years ago. Okay. What kind of man are you looking for, honey? Um, I wouldn't say like a, someone just consistent with their words versus their actions. Someone just consistent. Okay. What are your deal breakers? I would say a liar, uh, a liar, who, a man who's not in tune to his emotions, and a, a guy who has mother's issues. Like, if, for an example, if your mother wasn't there for you, or pretty much if your mother abandoned you, then that's that's a deal breaker because those individuals um, no disrespect to the ones who are who wasn't raised by their mom, but they can't, they, they're, they're a little broken, broken, broken beyond like my healing per se. Is that, that what happened with you in your last relationship? Not my marriage. No, I was with them for 15 years. Um, we just, like we both was from a strong background. So he's Caribbean, um, black American, and we were just raised to, um, not be the weak ones. What? So when depression came about with myself, we didn't, I, I didn't identify depression with depression. I'll say we both came from strong backgrounds. He's Caribbean. I'm Bonquisha. You know, I came from the <laughs> heritage of Bong, long, long line of Bonquishas, and we both strong. <laughs> and we was in here trying to strong arm each other, and it ultimately it didn't work out. We just oh. strong. Everybody was in here strong. It was two handsome boys in this house, and it didn't work out. Go figure. Here we go. I'm starting to get a tinge of like Tuh. crack. Tuh. Here we go, Gloria. Oh, man. Um, due to me not supposed to be the weak person, so we didn't know how to, I would say, support each other through the depressions that we both went through through the marriage. So we were okay. on the same page. You was on the same page. Okay. Um, so those are deal breakers. Your head's still cut off. Is that something we can prevent? Okay. Sorry. All right. Um, does the guy have to look a certain way? Um, I would say just attractive to the eyes, you know, because beauty's in the eyes of the beholder. So I would say just, just attractive to the eyes. Okay. Does he have to do, does he have to make a certain amount of money? I would say, I would say 50K or more. Um, I'm, I'm about like 80 to 90. So I would just say 50K or more. 50K, you say you're almost at 90. I'm, at, I'm between 80 and 90 with my business. So I would prefer a guy to be at 50K or more or make three times your rent. Um, I think that if you can afford three times your rent, you if you can afford to date. And, okay, if you get watch. So you, monthly income needs to be three times your rent. Yes, I would say. So if you your rent is two grand at six, you know, if your rent is fifteen hundred, you know what I mean. Okay. Um, stupid. I didn't. Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Come on, like. <laughs> what if his rent said, was eight hundred dollars? What if it's a thousand dollars? You ain't making no sense, Bone Quisha. See what I'm saying? What if it's rent five hundred dollars? Now he only got to make fifteen hundred dollars a uh -huh. month. Yeah, now where we at, Bone Quisha? Now where we at, huh? Yeah, you thought you was using your common sense using that that Bone Quisha Hoodoo Common Core math, math with uh, an F. <laughs> all right, we're gonna let her stand up, sister, with this tight fro. She been sleeping on it. She ain't combed it out. This See is all bad. Smoking Reggie. Stand up. Three kid. Don't look like a bad sister once upon a time before Nug Nug ruined you. See what I'm saying? There we go. Could he have kids? 
He can. I would say I would say three with two baby mamas since I have two different baby fathers. So, so you're say saying no more than two baby mamas. No more than two baby mamas, but no more than three kids in total. Okay, so the same thing you have. Yes. Okay. Well, let's do the kids' cam. Okay. Let me put this down. I can't show y'all no pictures of this people house, so let me. Uh, uh, shit. Hi. Like you have a good shape. We go. We, uh, handsome boy. Apparently, what's yeah. on her leg? Yeah, that's a, that's what what what's going on? Yeah, what's around like her leg? Like a tension band. She in there working out. Uh, yeah. We all modern women. Some of the laziest working, laziest working out. Some of my guns I ever done seen. She's sitting there. I see that wheelchair in the background that she's talking about. She can't let the camera get on that picture. So she's doing like the home health care uh, deal. She's huh. sitting there. She's supposed to be, you know, administ administering medicine and wiping tushy. And she's sitting there with her dang going uh uh thigh thigh firming band. She got off of the home shopping network. This ain't this ain't this ain't it. And you on Kendra looking wild. Oh, yeah, yeah, that ain't given. All right. Yeah, what'd you say, Tori? I love my bands. If listen here, if you're not breaking a sweat and getting your heart rate up to a certain point for an extended amount of time, them bands ain't doing nothing. I'm not gonna get into this. Keeping Go the fast tight. It ain't doing nothing for your cardio vet. It ain't doing that cardio at all. It might See, it might re keep that your thighs tight. It might do something for your glutes or your walk. Who I do? don't know. Who do? Take your <laughs> tail outside and run. Go make it hurt. Cry. Hurt. Make it hurt. No pain, <laughs> no gain. Sorry to tell you. Not really. Nah. So here we go. We got my man Don come through with a cash <laughs> app. Don has seen enough. All right, this sister here, Don headed up to the roof, folks. Shout out to the big joker, Don Jeter. We appreciate you. He said, man down, zip her up. All uh, right, she done. <laughs> we... So uh, you like that. Man down, get the body back. Next. Yeah, all right. Shout out to Don. We appreciate you, brother. Y'all on one tonight. We can't uh we can't get through none of these bone questions, huh? <laughs> Eric George said that's a handsome boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boom, yes, it was. Handsome boys up here looking for hey, come on. Continue to collect data, ladies and gents. We keep getting all these handsome boys. All these handsome six 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 figure boys coming up here, all wanting the same guy. Who is that guy? Tall, dark, and attractive to them. I <laughs> can She said something again. She said, Kendra, I'm at 89. Every woman tonight, 80, they make 80, 90, 100 K. But what we ain't saying is these women got two, three, four children. That money ain't like we gotta stand a lot you know of kids, man. How that money kids. being stretched? That's all. Kids, and and she she working. She she working, and they take pride in it. Working 60, 80 hours a week. There is listen here. Message. There is no you don't get no medal. There's no honor, no clout, no glory in working excessive amounts of hours a week. That's that's dead. We leaving that twenty twenty. What the heck ever. Yeah, yeah, y'all look, and that's what Bone Creature love to do. That's her claim. That's her pride flag. She say, "I work eighty hours, Ninja. I'm a handsome, strong boy. <laughs> Give me my respect." <laughs> there we go. Shout out to Joker Day Nate. He said he getting a tinge. He smelled a little uh, crack. I'm on starting her. to get a tinge of like crack. Yeah, for sure. And my guy Project Leroy, he says they all make eighty and a hundred k and look like used and worn out. Yeah, because they they are because they got to work hard for that 82, three jobs, side hustles, 
It's a little Cuda Cata benefits package. It's a lot. So, yeah, got to find a balance in life. Like you said, you can't trade, you know, all your time for a little bit of money. You got to work smarter. That's all. Yeah, that'd be my advice. You can't be working ninety hours a week and talking about you make eighty k a year. I'm gonna say you're a fool. See what I'm saying? Yeah, because that eighty k is is before taxes. Stop the cap. 